World Series from Arlington, Texas, with the Dodgers up three games to two. Randy Arozarena. Then Austin Meadows, who is Kevin Cash's pick to click tonight. Brandon Lau, Manuel Margot, and it was a half swing, but yeah. G-Man Choi kind of went after it, something he hasn't done a lot of this postseason. There are the numbers this October for the young right-hander. And he starts the night with a strikeout. On three pitches, G-Man Choi is taken care of, and that brings in Mr. Everything for the Rays. Rosarena. Here's one into right. That ball will carry back at the wall and is gone. A Rosarena has put Tampa Bay on top as he flicks one into the seats and right onto the tarp. And it's one to nothing Tampa Bay as he has his 10th postseason home run. And the Rays are on top in game six. That's incredible. He just saw a nasty slider away that he thought was a ball. It didn't phase him. Electric quick hands. This guy, I, I just can't even tell you. Words can't describe what he's done in the postseason. He's hit a ton of solo home runs. He's been everything for the Rays, and they needed to get on the board first. There's one into right. It's going to get down. Betts is over to cut it off, and Meadows is on with a one-out single. Meadows goes again on ball four. It's in the dirt, and back to get it is Barnes. It's two on, one out. Here's a 2-2. Two -two. Fly ball into right center. We'll slice now to Betts, who comes in, eyes the runners, and has out number two. And a changeup gets him down and in, but Randy Rosarena gets another. Unreal. Ten this postseason. Three in this World Series. And the Rays on top in game six. Here's the Dodgers lineup. Mookie Betts leads it off. Corey Seager, then Justin Turner. 27 years old, 6'4", 225, Blake Snell. Beat the Braves in seven. Lead the Rays three games to two. And a strikeout starts the night for Snell. To go quiet tonight. How about that start for Snell after his teammates got him one back to back strikeouts and the batter will be Turner. He struck out the side. You can't do it any better. Good start Snell and Rays up one after one in game six. 2-2 from Gonsolin and struck him out looking. That is hard hit into right. It is over the head of Betts. One hops the wall. Betts gets it back in, but that is a one-out double by Kiermaier. Struck him out. Two down. Three balls, two strikes, and it's two on with two out, and we'll see if that's it for Gonsolin. Dylan Floro is right into the heat here in the second. The very calm Rosarena swings, foul tips, Barnes collects, and the inning is over. What a job by Floro coming in, and on three pitches, Dispatches of a Randy Arozarena. Another strikeout for Snell. Four in the five outs he's picked up. He doesn't even have to mess around here with two strikes. Made it look easy. He has struck out five through two. Third inning rolls in. Game six. These three hitters, and we'll see what he does with the rest. I mean, Wood. Boy, that was filthy. And six strikeouts for Alex Wood. Because of who's coming out of the pen and the defense they play. Here's one into right center field. Bellinger to his left makes a nice running grab. And the first one, two, three inning put up by a Dodger pitcher.
Epic game seven. Taylor hits a knock into left center field, and the Dodgers have their first runner of the night. Breaking ball that hung, and Taylor shot it to the left of Adamas. That's hard hit, caught Wendell. Reached high to grab it, one on, one out. And again, mentioning about the Dodgers, if you are confined to throwing them fastballs, you're in trouble. Chopped to third, tough little pickup by Wendell, wide throw, and the tag by G Man Choi, two down. Another strikeout for Snell. Six, and he's gotten bets twice. Dodgers strand their first with play three. One to nothing, Tampa Bay. Nobody on here in the fourth inning. A one to nothing. Rays lead and now two out. Second strikeout for Wood as he works his second inning. Why the Rays are playing the sixth game of the World Series. Yep. And Alex Wood is a big reason why this has remained a one run game from inning four on. But his stuff tonight just looks different. Yeah. And a strikeout is number seven on the night. Yeah. He's just tying these Dodger hitters in knots. That is strikeout number eight, out number two. Struck out the side. Nine in the ball game. Pitch count is down. Velocity is up. So are the Rays' hopes. Pedro Baez is the fourth pitcher of the night. Wood was perfect. Muncie walked a couple steps in to make sure Baez was okay, and now the one-two. A strikeout starts the inning. Nobody on, and Joy, 0 for 1, his walk. As he pops it up, that's an easy second out. His walk chased the starter, Gonsolin, and since then, the bullpen, from Floro to Wood, now Baez, has been perfect. Here's a 2-2. Two -two. Hard hit, another hit. A 2 2 pitch, and Randy Arozarena has got to make people in the Cardinals front office turn off their TV. The only thing you got to tell yourself if you're Gonzalez, don't leave a fastball or anything middle to middle in against the left hander. Everything should be away or up, and you'll be okay based on the scouting report. That is a ground ball to the right side, and coming out of the stands is Taylor to make the play out in shallow right. And we don't have his mic open. Two balls, two strikes with one out, nobody on. Get over! And a grounder that's fair, and that's out number two. Say hi to your aunt, Tom. And yet. Here is a 3-2 pitch. And a check swing, Snell. This is his night so far, huh? Five innings in the books. He's allowed one hit, no run, struck out nine. 2-2. Two -two. Good pitch by Gonzalez, one away. Here's a 2-2 and a strikeout by Gonzalez. Now he has struck out the first two of the sixth. 2-2 two -two pitch. Struck him out and Gonzalez strikes out the side. Randy Arozarena in the first. If you're the Dodgers, you're going to have to get aggressive early on the first pitch. Pick one out and try to do damage with it. It's Pollock and he picked one out. No damage. Out behind second base. The very scenario Kevin Cash was dreading out of 20 of them is kind of this one. Here's one into center and the number nine man Barnes is aboard with one out in the sixth. That's going to be it. Man, you talk about a short leash. 73 pitches. Two hits, nine strikeouts. Snell can't believe it. As Kevin Cash said, these guys need short memories and thick skin because this is the way we do it. And we'll see how it works out. 
That is the reaction when he saw his manager coming to get the baseball as the Rays dip into their bullpen here in the sixth inning. Up one. Back to the top of the order, and Nick Anderson comes into the game. Here's a 2 0. Hard hit and fair. Down the line. Hits the fence. Deggan for third is Barnes. They will hold him there on a double by Betts, and the Dodgers are in business in a blink here in the sixth. Second and third. One out. And this one gets by Zunino. Tie game. Infield still in. Here's a play at the plate. Throw home too late. Dodgers lead. Betts scores. And just like that, the Dodgers are on top by one in the sixth. And just like that, Mookie Betts was ready to run and scored on that ground ball. That right there didn't even get an out. You're going to have to be, as a first baseman, jumping off that bag and getting towards home plate as the pitch is being made. He was flat-footed. And now Nick Anderson's got to keep it right here. Turner hits one into left. Back at the wall. It is caught. On the warning track as Turner just got under it. And a loud second out. Runner goes on a ground ball to the right side, a second. Adamas makes the play, and the Dodgers lead. This inning will be talked about for a long time. Pitching change happened. Snell came out, Anderson came in. Dodgers went to work back after this from your local Fox station. Wood to Baez to Gonzalez now. Bruce Dark Gratterall, the flame throwing, turned this game around. Swinging on 2 0. And Adamas is now 3 for 20 in this World Series. Here's a fly ball into left. Back to grab it is Pollock. And now two out, nobody on here in the seventh. That's into left field, and the tying run is on with two out, and the first World Series hit for Mike Zunino. See, I, I, I don't understand that pitch, but we have the new pitcher, Julio Urias, who started game four. He's picked it up here in the World Series. Four for 11, seven for 35 overall. Seven for 36. Arias comes in and slams the door on the top of the seventh. In the bottom of the seventh inning, L.A. on top by one. And Pete Fairbanks, a hard-throwing right-hander, is the fourth pitcher of the night. But each individual start in the postseason. This one is down into the corner. Hooking and fair off the wall. And Smith has a ringing leadoff double in the seventh. Two one skied into left a Rosarena late break and now out to make the play as Wendell to put the Dodgers on top with good base running by Mookie Betts Taylor strikes out the put out down at first two away you can't get back in the count with with Peterson and they're gonna walk it take their chances with Austin Barnes. A fly ball into shallow right. Out goes the second baseman, and Lau has it to win the inning. Good job by Fairbanks to get around the leadoff double by Will Smith. The big man, Randy Arozarena, will lead it off in the eighth for the Rays. Down one. He started that ball game, and Turner was the DH. Here's one into right center. Bellinger, great jump, one away. What a play. 
Boy he's had some jumps out in center and that was for Austin Meadows who was one for three. Looked like a changeup. Here is Rios fresh into the game. Throws a strike two out. Another strikeout. And the Dodgers are three defensive outs away from a World Series title. They bat in the eighth, leading by one. Here's the 0-2. To Betts. High fly ball left center. Back at the wall and it's gone. Betts. Has made it three to one. Dodgers here in the eighth inning. Mookie with a blast into left center field. Wow. During the year, he hit over 100 points higher, right-handed versus left-handed. 16 home runs off of right-handers. Didn't hit a home run against a left-hander. Tom talked about it earlier, about what he's slugging percentage, and wow, is that a timely home run. 3-2 to Seeger is high, and a walk with nobody out. Kike Hernandez strikes out. As Ryan Yarbrough takes over with one on one out. Really for the most part somehow some way those guys have found their way into it might be two. Lau starts it. And it is turned by Wendell. To end the eighth. A run in the frame. On the home run by Mookie Betts. His second of the World Series Rays down to their final three outs. Trailing now by two. Here comes a 1-2 to Margot. It'll pop up into right. Mookie Betts is there. And the first-year Dodger has out number one. Down by two. Urias. Good and looking to out. And rooting. Ownership. Andrew Friedman. Dave Roberts. That's there it's strike three. Dodgers have won it all in 2020. John, the Dodgers just showed too many ways that they can beat you in this series. Power, speed, defense, clutch hitting, big time pitching. Dave Roberts pulling the strings and making right call after right call out of the bullpen. And over the last 32 years, the Dodgers have knocked at the door for this a few times. This year, they kicked it in. You know, it's amazing. They were down three games to one to the Braves. They played flawless baseball from that point on and almost flawless baseball in the World Series. This is a complete team, a team that had a lot of hurdles and a ton of pressure on them. These are two different teams got here two different ways. Two great teams representing their cities. The Dodgers had the weight of the world on them. And I'm telling you right now, there is a relief that you cannot understand until you've been there, done that, 
And they have answered a lot of those questions. And how can you not focus on that man, Dave Roberts, and Clayton Kershaw in the middle of that celebration? Austin Barnes wisely tucks that ball <laughs> into his back pocket. And there, the future Hall of Famer's got a ring. This was, I mean, the pitchers had a field day today. But you just, you feel for Blake Snell, he pitched the game of his life, but the Dodgers just too much in the end. And for the Rays, they're not going anywhere. We'll see them in the postseason for years to come, but this year belongs to the Dodgers as they win their seventh championship in franchise history. They won one in Brooklyn. And now they've got their sixth since moving to Los Angeles in 1958.